Hi, I'm Mr. E-Tutor, your mystery tutor here at mysterytutor.com, and welcome to video module 3-3. In the previous two modules of this sequence, we've already discussed several reasons why the SAT essay is really not that good of a test. We've seen that Dr. Perlman, one of the heads of undergraduate writing at MIT, explicitly said that the SAT essay rewards habits that he doesn't want his students to have. We've also seen several examples of horrible grammatical mistakes in top-scoring essays, and we've seen an example of a low-scoring essay that followed everything that the rubric said it should follow. So this leads us to a huge question. What is the SAT essay actually testing then? I can tell you right now it is not testing your writing ability in any way whatsoever. The SAT essay actually tests your ability to imitate high-scoring SAT essays. That's it. It tests your ability to look at what has succeeded in the past and imitate that as closely as you possibly can. Now, I may not like that, and you may not like that, but the fact of the matter is, that's what a standardized writing test almost always ends up rewarding. And that's why the following video modules will be all about identifying the attributes of high-scoring SAT essays and teaching you to imitate them as mechanically and easily as you possibly can. Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, this worked in the past, but how do I know it's going to work for me? Well, let me explain. As we've discussed in earlier modules, every single aspect of the SAT is standardized, and that applies equally to the SAT essay. Even though it might seem difficult to believe, the scoring process used on the SAT essay is extremely impersonal and extremely standardized, and whatever has worked on it in the past will continue to work in the future. This is a common theme when you get ready for the SAT, and it's one we've discussed before and one we'll discuss again. Whenever you want to prepare for an SAT question type, the only way to do it reliably is to look at previous examples of that question type and see what succeeded there. It will always succeed in the future, again because the SAT must follow its own standards. If it failed to follow those standards, the SAT would no longer be the same test, its data would eventually become unreliable to colleges, and the College Board would have no reason to exist. Remember, I've said it before, I'll definitely say it again. What the College Board claims to be testing with the SAT and what it's actually testing are completely different things. The SAT essay is one of the easiest places to start seeing that. So please enjoy the coming video modules, get ready to change your mindset when it comes to the SAT essay, and remember, it's easier than you think.